64 comic movies, a lot of beer, and even more fan votes has led to this. It's the final four of the comic movie madness tournament. We are the Bro Four Squad, and we don't care what bathroom you use as long as you subscribe to us on YouTube and leave a nice comment. I'm Matt Geiger, alongside the mad scientist Brian Banner and the Black Widow's gynecologist Jeff Hornacek. And guys, it's here. It's finally here. We're done. It's the final four of the comic movie madness. Jeff, how you feeling? I feel like what my dad must have felt like when I was 18 and finally got the fuck out of his house. I'm just very excited. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Banner, this is your baby here. This is Banner's baby. And we I, have four babies left. Yeah, I cannot believe. And we couldn't have had four, four harder babies. This is so hard. I still don't even know. There's got to be a better way to say that, right? We couldn't have had four harder babies. (laughs) I mean, probably, but I've been drinking pretty much since the final four came out. So pretty hammered right now. So for you guys on Facebook, thank you for all your votes on YouTube, wherever you guys find us. We have four movies left. Guardians of the Galaxy, Deadpool, Captain America, and the Dark Knight. Y'all came out strictly to vote. But it's time to go to Banner's lab to see who the fuck won this. Banner, take it away. All right. Again, thank you everybody so much for your participation. It's been a long few months. All of the votes. You guys came out fighting for your movies. We loved it. Uh, As a recap, if you don't know it by now, you should. We grade all of our movies on five criteria. Uh, Acting, casting, story, plot, Impact on pop culture and rewatchability. Um, coming in fourth place, we're just going to get into this, guys, because there's no easy way to do it. With 26 votes, Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow. That's a strong showing for a movie that was supposed to be the first flop of, of the MCU. Uh, we've got a couple of good comments here. Ralph Powers and KSJ both said, Guardians of the Galaxy, I can't wait for part two. I mean, that's that's true. It's it's a fantastic movie, and I can't wait to see where the uh, the franchise goes. But I'm excited. I think like everybody that we have James Gunn back, the whole cast is back. Because the hardest thing to do is make a good movie, and then the harder thing is to somehow follow that yeah. up with an equally as good movie. So I'm nervous, but I'm really excited for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two this summer. Thank you for the segue, Jeff. I'm more nervous than excited, just because. This movie, being the DC fan of the pod, is my favorite Marvel movie, bar none. There's not even a close second. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I love Chris Pratt in it. I love Batista. I love Rocket Raccoon. I love everything about it. But the second one, to repeat that magic since it is kind of a comedy, and when you look at comedy sequels, there's not very many good ones, it's going to be very hard, especially with the music that went entwined perfectly. James Gunn has his work cut out for him, but hey, man, there, there's no better person for the job for sure james gunn friend of the pod he is he is i'll say this about just the first guardians it is such a shocker and it's just crazy what they can do with these off the wall characters and bring them into the limelight and make them it's it's just crazy, and it made a hell of a run. It beat out 60 other... Think about that, guys. This movie is better than 60 other uh, comic book movies. Yeah. I can believe that. I mean, that's just that's just crazy to me. Any any last thoughts on Guardians, guys? I mean... We'll see, we'll see you on Cinco de Mayo. Exactly. Drunk and All with right. tortilla chips in our belly. All right, guys. That leaves three. Who is going to be the champion of this comic book movie, Madness Tournament. Well, it's not going to be Deadpool. Coming in third with 47 votes. Deadpool. The Merc with a Mouth. The Merc with a Mouth. I mean, it just, it ate so many chimichangas. We had some... at the end of the line now. We had some really good comments on this one as well. Deadpool has a fan base that I love because... They just love to have fun at the movies, man. I mean, if you really enjoyed this movie like I did, you went to it and just said, that was just a fucking blast. This comment comes from Sam Yates, who said, Eh, no Civil War, which is my favorite comic book movie, but of what's on here, 
I'll go with Deadpool. Now, Civil War, I believe, got knocked out by the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the yeah, Sweet correct. 16, which was kind of an upset. Uh, well, it was a big upset, I think, at the time. But Deadpool is one of those movies that I think we were all hoping and thought had a pretty good shot to be in this discussion of the Final Four. Wouldn't you guys agree with that when this tournament started? Yeah, absolutely. They're all different movies. I mean, Guardians, Deadpool might be kind of the same, except for Deadpool's rated R. Winter Soldier is a totally different movie than any of them, and they're actually a totally different movie than any Marvel movie I've seen. And then you have The Dark Knight, which is just a complete outlier of any comic book movie anyone's ever seen. But Deadpool, I actually picked that and the original Batman. I thought that would be like my two closet favorites to play in the national championship. I love Deadpool. It's a fantastic movie. Check out our movie commentary on it. I would say the ending kind of killed it, and also the cast. It didn't have a strong cast as some of these. I mean, that Ryan Reynolds and everybody else. What do you think, Banner? I mean, I think that that's a a great point to put up, is that it had its back against the wall every step of the way through this tournament because it had a weak cast. I mean, past Ryan Reynolds, you don't really have that big star-stunted cast. You don't have that number two person. And for it to make such a deep run... Uh, with how good its story was and what it did with taking a movie raunchy and R-rated, um, just as a testament to what Ryan Reynolds and uh, and Miller did. I mean, it's it's just I, you can't say enough good things about it. It was a fantastic flick. I got a shout out to my boys, Skitty Brown. Is that Skitty or is that a typo? That's a typo. It should be Scotty Brown, I believe. Scotty Brown. If you're my boy, should I know your name? Shame on me. Sorry about that. Anyway, all of fame. If, if Deadpool wasn't a movie i would say the dark knight but my vote goes to deadpool which i can definitely understand man it's like and deadpool to his point was so close not to be in a movie i think it took like 47 rejection letters from fox for fox to finally be like yeah sure let's not fuck around the x-men timeline anymore and give ryan reynolds his due but i really i love this comment i pulled it out from a bunch of other comments that we had but Makes a lot of sense for sure. Fox is like, well, Scotty Brown, we tried to not make it a movie, but we just couldn't do it. Unfortunately. Yeah. No matter how hard we tried to fuck things up, it just didn't happen. <laughs> Man, your Fox movie's out. Do you have any last words? I mean, it's it was a hell of a run. It was a hell of a ride. And, I mean, it's impressive that it made it that far. Third place is ourselves. something, again, as I've said before in this yeah, it's pod. Nothing, that's nothing to hang your head about. Yeah, if that's a spelling test, Dad's hanging out in the fridge. Now, for what everyone's waiting for, what is the greatest comic movie of all time? But before that, we were going to take a commercial break, but since we don't have sponsors, we're going to do something different. <laughs> <laughs> of our five criteria, we're going to give out awards for the best movie. So first off, acting cast of all... Actually, I think we had a play-in game, so we had 66 comic movies in this tournament. Acting cast, what is the best in the entire tournament, Jeff? I'll keep this really brief. Uh, X-Men Days of Future Past is the best cast in this tournament. Banner? Banner. Yeah, that's that's who I had, too, Days wow, of Future Past. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Geiger. I mean, how do you, you can't go against Fosbender, McAvoy, Stewart, and McClellan, Combining right? the X-Men cast is just too strong. Geiger. Well, you know what? I can go against that. The original Sin City. Wow, I, yeah. That was a close second for me. Cast. It is deep. Yeah. It's like 12 actors fucking deep. That's so true. So I'm going to go with that one. Story, Jeff. No surprise here. I wish I could have taken something a little more off the radar, but The Dark Knight. I mean, it's... I think it's my, I think, favorite movie of all time. Not even just a comic book movie. And so how can I not give it best story? Banner? Uh, I went off... I went Watchmen. Wow. Watchmen? Huh. Yeah, it's just, it's a different idea. I'm not saying that it's a, the movie as a whole isn't, isn't going to make a whole lot of waves, but if you take that premise of the story, it's very intriguing. All right. Geiger? I went back to uh, your guys' acting and cash. I went Days of Future Past simply because it was so fucked up when they got it, but with McAvoy and Stewart. It almost made sense. It made sense. It really did. Every time I see it, I'm just like, I don't know how this makes sense, but it does. The writing is fantastic. Whoever came up with the idea to be like, hey, I know there's some shit that will never make sense, but let's not even just – just let's leave that alone. Maybe people will get over it. Fox, every time I go to the movie, I'm just like, dude, I'm going to get over all the fuck-ups you do. It's kind of like an ex-girlfriend. I don't care that you cheat on me ten times. Let's just try this just one more fucking time and make it work. Yeah, because summer's almost over. 
Summer's almost <laughs> over, babe. We got to get back together yeah. now. So I gave it, I, I gave it to X Men: Days of Future Past. Best scene, Jeff. My favorite scene in any movie ever. I literally almost cried in the theaters when the Avengers assemble on the bridge. Yes. Banner. I went Nightcrawler uh, opening scene Great in X Two. I mean, just it's fantastic. There's nothing else more you can say other than it's the best. Yeah. I went, uh, not my favorite Batman movie, but this scene's probably the best. Uh, Dark Knight Rises when Tom Hardy Bane breaks Batman's back. Yep. I cried in the movie theater for a different reason because I saw my hero. It was it was awesome. There's no score to it. I thought it was very well done. Effects on pop culture, Jeff. Original Superman. I, don't, I mean, changed the game. People didn't even think that this was ever going to be a real viable genre. And then you get Marlon Brando and Christopher Reeves and Gene Hackman to actually be in a superhero movie. I mean, it's the reason we're here talking about this. So, original Superman. Banner? Uh, I went Iron Man. Um, we wouldn't have connected universes and multiverses and individual movies that uh, all connect together without the success of Iron Man and uh, what Robert Downey Jr. was able to, to do and bring to that character and what John Favreau was able to do as a uh, director. Mm-hmm. I went the original Batman, Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson. Uh, you know, I can see the original Superman. I can see both, both very good movies, guys. But the original Batman for me was the first movie that went dark. And once again, it came out in 89, I believe. If you see it today, you could maybe believe that it came out in 2017. Yeah. yeah. Rewatchability, Jeff. It's going to surprise some people, but this is a movie that I want to watch all the time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. So much Not fun. That surprising. So much fun. Banner. Guys, I've been talking about this since what November when we started uh, putting this tournament together. Amazing Spider Man. Wow. <laughs> I d- I don't That's know a what shocker. It is about pun it. intended. I fucking love that movie. I wish you could tell us what it is about it because it might actually get a better percentage on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, mine, honestly, I. I I'm not the guy that has the iPod with a bunch of bands you don't know, man. The Dark Knight, I mean, that's just it just yeah. captivated me. I saw it ten times in theaters. It was it was fantastic. Every scene of it, every actor, every everything was just perfect. It's just perfection. So let's throw it back to Banner's Lab and actually see if it won. So the last two movies that we have left in the comic book movie Madness tournament is Captain America: Winter Soldier versus The Dark Knight. Um, we're going to talk about each movie individually, and then I'll let you know what the votes were. We're going to start with Captain America Winter Soldier. All right. Uh, it's a fantastic spy movie, guys. That's what it is. Uh, we got some really good comments. Uh, I pulled one out from Jeremy Lenning, and he says, Winter Soldier is just a good movie. The Nick Fury car chase scene is one of the best from a Marvel movie. There's also the elevator scene. Just lots of good action and a great story. Absolutely. I mean, Jeremy hit the nail on the head. Jeremy, it like, it literally took my brain out of my body, put it in his own, like, maybe another movie that came out earlier this year. Because the Nick Fury scene, like, just gives you that feeling like, yo, shit is hitting the fan. And I think the reason we all love Winter Soldier so much is it actually feels like a contained spy thriller, which is not something a lot of other Marvel movies can say. So I I totally agree with Jeremy on that one. I love that. I, I love your comment, Jeremy, but I love the Captain America Winter Soldier beat Avengers because it proves my point that joint movies are fun, but they're not good movies. Captain America Winter Soldier is a better script. It has more twists and turns. Avengers was just a fun movie. We're like, man, finally all these guys are getting together. I don't really care what the plot is. It's just really fun. And it proves my point why probably Justice League is going to be bad. But I definitely agree with the man. I hate Captain America. I've been – well, I don't hate Captain America. I hate Chris Evans. And I've been on pod saying that a lot. But this movie is fantastic. Captain America Winter Soldier, like you said, the scenes, the spy movie, it is a fantastic movie. It deserves to be in the championship for sure. One other comment that I really liked on Winter Soldier was from Tom Fiorio. And he said, if I could pick any movie to be my favorite, I'd pick Spider-Man 2. But Captain America the Winter Soldier is the best of these four choices. And I really like this one just because anytime people can respect like, hey man, this is not my favorite movie that's left, but I want to give a shout out to something else. Spider-Man 2 is a great movie. I was kind of surprised at uh, how little success it had in this tournament, but anytime you can love two different types of comic book movies and give a shout out to The Fallen, I just like that comment from Tom. So thanks for participating, man. 
Spider-Man 2 is a fantastic movie. It really is. It just, um, hopefully it'll seem dated after Holland gets in it because Tobey Maguire was dated because he looked like he was 40 years old playing yeah. Peter Parker. But and it, it, got a, it got a tough matchup in the first round. He got bounced in the first round of Blade, guys. I mean, that's... That was a fan vote, too. It's, it's tough to tough to take that. But, again, we appreciate the comment. And, and like you said, Jeff, it's cool when you can, hey, I respect what's going on, and this is out of what's left. This is what has to, to get the vote. Shout out to Devin Petty, man. He wrote a paragraph, and I'm drunk, so let's see if I can read it. Oh, man, this is a really hard decision for me. I've actually changed my vote on this a couple times because I'm not sure which one to pick. If we're going by which uh, we think – is best of our personal favorite, then I have to go with The Winter Soldier. Don't get me wrong, I love all four of these movies, but when it comes down to it, I think The Winter Soldier is hands down the best movie on the list, to me at least. Which, <laughs> man, this is why we gave it to you guys. I mean, we're pussies. We've said this on podcasts we of times. We we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna vote for this. I mean, I, I love know. all of these movies for sure, and I, I can see uh, and. Throw out the Marvel fanboys, DC fanboys box. I, I can see where you get this, man. Anytime Captain America Winter Soldier is on, I will watch it. Or if someone pops in a DVD, I will watch it in entirety. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's move on now to The Dark Knight. We've got, again, some great comments uh, defending that, uh, which is one of our final two movies. Um, I'll say the first one. Joel Benavidez, he said, The Dark Knight, best comic book movie ever. And that's what we're arguing right now. So, I mean, he technically isn't wrong yet. I'm not going to say he's right yet, but he's not wrong. I mean, Joel, you have you are not alone. There are tons of people who agree with you on this one. I might be one of them. Who knows? Can we, uh, can I uh, comment after the joint one? I want, I want to read the next one too, Jeff. All right, you can read the last two. Okay. Can you read his name? And I'll read his Santiago Lorenz Lorenzado. And Santiago, if we're pronouncing that wrong, we are so sorry, but we loved your comments so much we had to risk mispronouncing your name just to Yeah, read it and on Santiago, if I mistyped your last name, I was drunk when I was doing it, so that's on me. I, I agree with with both of these quotes in parts, but Santiago said my second favorite movie ever is The Dark Knight, but is not a comic book film. Now, I agree with this. I love The Dark Knight, but it's not technically a comic book film because it doesn't have anything to do with really any adaptation of any Batman comic you've ever seen because Nolan did a very grounded universe that could all take place in real life. However, we this tournament is a comic book slash superhero movie, so it is a superhero movie. Um you guys can kind of take it away from me. That is a fantastic film, but when it kind of comes down to a comic book where Captain America, definitely Guardians of the Galaxy, and definitely Deadpool are very comic booky films, this doesn't really fall in that, for sure. It was a very good comment, for sure. <clears throat> I think I actually replied back to Santiago, and I was like, you know what? You're right. It's not, and that's what I love about it. It is a crime thriller that Nolan basically played out with characters that we knew and loved. And that's why it works so well. It's just, like you could literally go see it with people that don't know what comic books are, and they would be like, "No, man, that's just a crime movie." Ben, anything to add? Nah, I mean, he's right. I mean, it, I kind of put it in the same boat as like a Hancock, because uh, technically Hancock was just a superhero movie where a comic came later. Yeah. Um, but it's almost—I mean, it's similar to that. It's kind of in that same bucket. Uh, but again, it's just a fantastic movie in general, regardless of the. Uh, of where the source material came from. <clears throat> All right, so let's kick it off with Marcelo. Well, not kick it off, end it with Marcelo Fury, The Dark Knight, the greatest movie in history. Wow. It's a bold claim. Very bold. If I know I Marcelo, that's how he lives his life, though. I don't have a problem with it, but uh, guys, <laughs> seriously, man, everything you guys tweeted, commented at us, liked, face smiled, whatever else we had on there. Thank you so much. You, There would be no tournament unless there was you guys. We'd just be drunk on here talking to nobody. So thank you so much for everything. Agreed. All right, guys. You guys want to know who won this thing? I really need to know who won this thing. All right. With a score of 159, the comic book movie champion is The Dark Knight. Wow. Congratulations.
Why so serious? Oh. I mean, I can't say that I'm surprised, but I can't say that I'm not surprised either after going through this tournament, guys. It's it was a there wasn't any easy okay, there were some easy wins, like things that went up against Batman and Robin and things like that. But the Green Lantern. The Green Lantern, yeah. There were some rough ones, but I mean, really, from second round on, there wasn't any easy easy matchups, and uh, you guys picked it. You guys decided, and thank you guys so much for that. Before we let everybody go, I just want to say this was kind of echoing Geiger's sentiment. This was such a blast. We look forward to doing other types of tournaments like this in the future. And just again, thanks to everybody for the participation. Um, we love movies. We love comic book movies. But I think even more than that, we love sharing them with, with everybody else out there. So that's what the, probably the best part of this was for me. Yeah, absolutely. We we look forward to doing tournaments like this in the future. Maybe not this big, but if you guys have any ideas on that, comment below. Let us know. Um, we want to do stuff for you guys. We're not just doing it for us or anything. So if you're looking for a tournament with the best villain or the best director of a comic book movie or something like that, comment below. Or a below. two-man scramble. Yeah, we're a, <laughs> yeah, we're a <laughs> Empire Strikes Back two-man scramble. <laughs> anything you guys want. So thank you very much. We are the Bro4 Squad. Check out our website. It's www.bro4squad.com. Of course, we're on YouTube. Subscribe to us also on iTunes. We're on Facebook. Give us a like and Twitter at Bro4 Squad. For Matt Geiger, the Mad Scientist, Brian Banner, and Jeff Warnesek, we're signing off. The Dark Knight is the champion of the Rachel!